This is Chris Love, owner of love to dev Thank you for joining us today. We're going to talk about how to solve an obscure issue. Have you ever had issues with web assets like style sheets or images not loading? Typically this is due to either a file missing from the server or a typo in the URL. That means you uppercased or lowercased a character and the server uh, didn't uh, find a matching file. Those are the common reasons that you may have a typo in the URL. Then there are some edge cases where the request is not missing, but uh, you know that means status 404 if it is missing, but maybe something else is blocking the request. Now there are many levels where a request could be blocked. The cause, it could be in the network transport layer, it could be in a proxy server, some, or a router, you know, something between you and the server. It also may be something on the client or in the browser itself. And that's where we're going to look today because this is the cause of a problem that was brought to my attention. I received an email from a reader who wanted to let me know some images on a blog post were not rendering. And this is the blog post he was referencing. Um, this is uh, one that I wrote back in, I think, in April. About, you know, about nine months ago, about how big the web has gotten. And we've reached a point where the web has gotten bigger than the install disk of the original game, Doom. Uh, but as I scroll through the, the blog post here, in this section, there should be some images rendered. And uh, right now, we're not seeing those images rendered. Um, and we'll discuss why not. Because I went to troubleshoot the issue because I thought maybe the files uh, weren't there or maybe I'd messed the URL up. And the reason why I thought that would be the case is because we've been moving uh, our assets from uh, one cloud provider to another cloud provider. And we had, uh, you know, want to make sure that the files got moved over. And I thought, well, maybe the scripts that we used may have missed some of these files or something like that. So, you know, I thought maybe something had slipped through the cracks, but that wasn't the case. Uh, when I did, act, you know, go to the developer tools, I got uh, like a little bit of a surprise when I noticed that the reason they weren't loading was something called error blocked by client. Now, if we go over to the developer tools, we'll see uh, here are the four images that are being blocked and you see the message here. And I, I was really thrown back because I didn't know what was going on. All kinds of crazy scenarios went through my head. I wonder if there maybe was a header issue where they weren't configured correctly on, on the server, uh, some other configuration error on the server. Maybe the images were not really formed correctly because we've been running all of our images through image optimization uh, routines and maybe something screwed up there uh, I didn't know so I did what any you know good developer or system admin do, does I bingled or looked it up online the search engines to see if other people had a similar problem and well yeah a lot of people have these problems I found many references to this issue on Stack Overflow and it, basically it turns out um, what is blocking the request is the ad blocker. Now, the reason this was an interesting one is because the images were only blocked for me in Chrome where I have Adblock Plus set up. Uh, I currently am not running any extensions in Edge. Um, and so the images came up for me just fine in Edge. Uh, I can, there we go. And if we just open it up and do this, now I scroll down this time, you see the, the images are there, right? And those are the images we're looking for. So it turns out they were blocked by Adblock Plus. So typically when you see this error, it means an extension has blocked the request. Fortunately, Adblock Plus adds an additional panel to the Chrome developer tools where you get another essentially network waterfall or it tells you what it did with all the requests. And here you can see the same four images and they're highlighted in red. But here you see the filter column, and that tells you uh, why they were blocked. So the pattern that blocked them was this dash 300 by 600 period that matched a pattern in one of the um, lists that Adblock Plus uses to block common uh, ad or malware uh, file references. So the reason why that 300 by 600 is on all those is all those images are the same size because we are 
uh, using responsive images. So we create an image array from the original where we resize images to create a responsive image array. And we'll have other videos about responsive images. Uh, and so keep track of things on our YouTube channel. You'll find more information about that topic in the future. But one of the things we do is we try to put the width and height dimensions in the image file name. That way we can kind of keep track real quick and see what's going on and automate further uh, aspects of that. So that's why the 300 by 600 is in there. It just happened to be chance that they matched the pattern in that block plus. So we'll have to go back, change and update our naming algorithm so that we can uh, avoid that in the future. So the next time you've got an image that's not loading, uh, it may be because of an extension in your browser. And these are this is an example of things that you may not uh, flesh out in your in-house testing because things like this uh, for localhost, adblock and extensions sometimes get uh, bypassed localhost, uh, things like that. So you got to kind of be careful on how you request or, or kind of maybe monitor these kind of scenarios. Uh, you do need to kind of see what it's like for a real user a lot of times and um, this was just one of those odd cases and I'm glad that the reader brought it to our attention and we will correct the issue. So hopefully this will help you out when you have a similar problem and you can troubleshoot it rather quickly. We hope you've enjoyed this video and we'll select the like button below. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel please do and if you're interested in our newsletter, please visit lovetodev.com newsletter.